As the original producer of ocean organics, algae has strong absorption ability, which can concentrate surrounding nutrients from the ocean. It contains thousands of natural active substances and balanced rich nutrients. Active substances extracted from the algae can be produced to biostimulants, which can transport its energy to crops, then improve the anti-stress of crops and promote their healthy growth and fruit farming. Alga 600, the representative of algal biostimulants, is raw material is orgasm in middle growth stage, coming from floors in north of Indian Ocean, not only rich in active substances, sorgasm also has strong reproductive capacity. It starts growth from every October. The whole plant will be decomposed till next July and August, leaving countless pores flowing on the sea surface and start a new life circle in the autumn and winter. So, how does sargassum be produced to algal biostimulants? The key of producing algal biostimulants is extracting the effective active substances from sargassum. Algenic acid is macromolecule in algal cells, which cannot be absorbed by plant unless degraded to micromolecules by enzymolysis. Through this high-speed tissue crushing machine, sargassum has been quickly crushed into sticky liquid, that is, algenic acid. Enzyme degrading algenic acid comes from ocean microbes. Before fermentation, these microbes have been put in shake flask by researchers and then shaken on machine, which ensures the best condition of flora cultivation and provides reference of production in fermentation tanks. Fill certain amount of culture medium to the shake flask. After inoculating, put it on shaker to constant temperature shaking incubation. Culture medium moves stably with the shaker. Half day after culturing, such microbes flowers can be carried to fermentation. The front ones are acetylene tanks for algal acid and its degrading enzyme. The back ones are fermentation tanks of algal acid degrading enzyme. Firstly, acetylenes are getting out from the lab. After reaching to a certain fermentation degree, bacteria has grew and reproduced, and then we inoculate them to fermentation tank to produce algal acid degrading enzyme. After inoculating the degrading enzyme produced in fermentation tank to digestion tank, sargassum begins to be degraded. Temperature, material granule size, leach time, and storing speed will all affect the enzymolysis. Next to digestion tank, there are several similar tanks which are used to mix the non-completely reacted liquid in digestion tank. Through centrifugation, concentration, spray drying, and purification. Finally, the macromolecule and genic acid sargassum has become two soluble micromolecule active substances which can be absorbed by plants. So, what kind of active substances in Alga 600 are extracted from the sargassum? Sargassum has rich algal polysaccharides and cytokinin, which can regulate the cell permeation, increasing water holding capability, and stimulate cell differentiation. Meanwhile, various plant growth regulators in sargassum can regulate plant balance growth. For example, betaine can recover and strengthen plant immune system. Gibberellin can broke seed dormancy, promote plant root and germination. Mannitol can increase chlorophyll content and promote photosynthesis. Abscisic acid and ethylene can facilitate plant abscisic layer cells maturity and promote fruit early maturity. 
polyamines can strengthen the resistance of crops. We may visit a vegetable base in Tongzhou, Beijing. In this base, vegetable of each greenhouse has been divided into two groups. One group has been applied normal chemical fertilizer, and the other applied Alga 600. We have found that plants applying Alga 600 have strong main stems and much more flowers, owing to the rich cytokinin content in sargassum, which can promote flower bud differentiation. These tomato plants are applied Alga 600. Their average height can reach 1.45 meters. We can check the CK plant applied normal fertilizer. Their average height is about 1.35 meters. So after applying Alga 600, plants can be 10 centimeters higher than the CK. A serious measurement comparison shows that vegetables applying Alga 600 have obvious advantage in plant height, leaf, flower, and fruit performance. When the temperature in greenhouse is over 30 degrees, many leaves of CK plants have become shrinking. However, leaves of plants used Alga 600 are stretching and large. Flowering time can be 4 to 5 earlier. The worker in the bay said that such 4 or 5 days can bring large difference for fruit yield in the late stage and quality. After applying Alga 600, fruit has larger size, thick flesh, and brighter color. These plants are applied Alga 600. We can see the whole vigor. Each plant has lots of fruits with big size, and each plant can bear 6 to 8 fruits. We have found a phenomenon in this space that vegetable applying Alga 600 is very strong, but not overgrowing. The fruit sides are uniform, and height is even. Now the tomato is in fruit expansion stage. Later, it will come to coloring stage. We can see that the plants do not have over apical dominance, so they bear lots of fruits but do not overgrow. Overgrowing plants, just as we could see, it, its internals is long, so the flowers and fruits amount will be reduced. Various natural PGR in Alga 600 can well regulate crop balance growing, inhibit apical dominance, and make fruits uniform, which contributes to good quality and high yield. As measurement in the same size trial pot, applying Alga 600 one third as chemical fertilizer dosage can bring 20% higher yield. Alga 600 can be applied alone, also can be mixed with other macro compound chemical fertilizer, through which chemical fertilizer can have better utilization. Alga 600 has the highest activity when the dilution ratio is 1 to 2,500 to 2,000. It will come into plant in 3 to 3 hours with fast transport speed after applying and can be absorbed well by crops. Foliar spray and drip irrigation are both available. Ocean has endless resource. The nutrients that have been run off from human agricultural activity to the ocean accumulated by algae can get back to terrestrial plants and bright vigor to crops. And then such green agriculture produced in high quality will bring vitality to human being. In the current time of organic green agriculture, algal biostimulant is the new start of modern agriculture sustainable development with no doubts. 